Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. I'm a math expert in St. Petersburg, Florida, and we are here to talk about what is range in mathematics. Now, range is often mentioned with domain. Domain is really generally the set of x values that you can plug in to a function or a relation, and the range actually is the result of those x values plugged in. Now, range typically is associated with y values, since domain is typically associated with x. So we're going to explore a few examples as to how to find range in mathematics, and all you really need for this is a pen, piece of paper, and a calculator if necessary. So here we go. Now we're going to explore range from a relation standpoint as in a bunch of ordered pairs. So let's just say if you had negative 3, 5, 4, negative 1, and 0, 0. Now, for range in ordered pairs, you're looking for the set of y values. So in this case, the y coordinates are 5, negative 1, and 0 respectively. So your range in this case consists of these three numbers, 5, negative 1, and 0. Now typically you want to put them in order, but in this case it would just be an illustration. Now, suppose you had y is equal to 3x minus 1. Now, in this particular case, to find out what your range is, you need to look at what numbers you're allowed to plug in for x. Now here, your domain, you could plug in whatever numbers you want for the x values because there's no fractions or square roots or anything like that. So your domain would be all real numbers. But how does that relate to the range? Well, if you plug in, for example, any positive number here, you're going to get a positive number for the y value, which is part of your range. And if you plug in negative values for x, you're going to get a negative value for y. So at this particular point, since you can plug in any number you want for x, for this example, you, any number for y is what's going to result from this given the structure. So the range, in this case, is also all real numbers. Now, one more example, if you have the function y is equal to the square root of x minus 1. Now, let's talk about what y can be for the range. Because this is a square root, one thing you know about square roots is that square roots have to be positive or the number 0. So that means in this particular case, for the range, the y has to be greater than or equal to 0 because you know you cannot have a square root of a negative number. That's not going to be a real number. So there are many other examples out there, but I hope this gives you some illustrations as to what range is all about. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that is What is Range in Mathematics?